Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit in this Microsoft Fabric Master program. So in today's session, we will be creating our first workspace in the Fabric app. This is a complete hands-on. So let's quickly see what we are going to learn in today's session. We will see how to create a new workspace, how to navigate between the workspaces, how to pin workspace for the quick access, workspace settings, set up contact list in workspace, manage a workspace in Git, and workspace limitations we will be learning in today's session. Let's quickly get started. What is workspace? Workspaces are places to collaborate with the colleagues to create collection of artifacts such as lake houses, warehouse, reports, pipelines, data flows, notebook implementation, etc. So in order to create this workspace, we need to make sure that the name is unique within your account and uh, every character is allowed for now but going forward only it allows workspace names are allowed from small a to z capital a to z numbers underscore iphone and period that is dot and for quick access we can able to pin our workspace to the top of the workspace flyout list to quickly access your favorite workspace let's say you have hundreds of workspaces but you are currently working on three of the workspaces or uh, two of the workspaces what you can do is you can pin them so that those will be always show at the top of the workspace list you can quickly access it so access wise so we have the different roles that we can able to grant it for the workspace level admin member contributor and viewer so let's quickly jump into the lab to see so this is the microsoft fabric experience right so we can use the different experience we can go to the data factory experience first thing remember workspace is a something common tab across all the experiences it is not specific to the data factory you can also switch to the some other data engineering doesn't matter workspaces is this is the workspaces tab which you can able to select to create a new workspace the first important point is you can see whenever you click on the workspace you can see your few workspaces so my workspace is something which will be coming by default and all other workspaces down you are seeing are the workspaces that you created so now what we can do is we can create our own own workspace let's click new workspace so it is asking me to provide the workspace as i mentioned so it will allow all the characters right so it will allow all the characters see now only with only special characters also it is allowing but going forward it will not allow as this is uh, still in the preview they are allowing so that's why what i can do is my first okay workspace okay my iphone first iphone workspace i can just give like this for the my own first workspace description i can say this is for demo right domain so for example in your um, business you are working for the financial data you are working for the sales data you are working for the delivery data or uh, ship shipping data or what you are working you can able to based on that you can give the domain so it will helpful for you to filter out the data based on the domain so if we have for your project or for your uh, that particular workspace that you are creating you have a specific image you can able to upload that image so that uh, it will uh, represent uh, what kind of business that you are uh, workspace this workspace is having right what kind of uh, work or what kind of data you are dealing with in the workspace that will depict next so contact list is the users list that you need to add which basically help you to uh, notify whenever some changes happening in the workspace if something is changed you can you will be notified so license mode is basically currently we are using the trial capacity but going forward we need to use a premium capacity where you will be making a payment as per your usage correct so based on the uh, requirement you can able to choose the required capacity to use the fabric artifacts or different experiences for now we will be going with the trial just click apply now we created our first workspace here if you see any artifact if you want to create uh, some artifact within within this particular workspace you can choose which artifact you want to create you can create a pipeline data flow experiment kql databases and lake houses notebooks reports spark jobs warehouse anything you can able to create okay now let's say i want to create a for example quickly lake house just click on the lake house you can say my first 
lake house lake house for demo okay what it is saying name can only contain alpha numeric characters and underscores not iphone so you can just give the underscore sorry you can just give the underscores here correct okay create it so our new workspace basically within the our new workspace we also created a lake house what is lake house so i'll uh, discuss about it later but i'll be switching back to the my first workspace okay switch to the my first workspace basically when you create your uh, lake house it will show whatever is created now like that you can able to create all the things okay so when you create lake house everything is coming we will talk about those things later but generally you can create like this based on these options okay now if you want to upload some data you can upload if you want to create any app you can able to create if you want to manage access if you want to add a new people or new groups to this particular workspace you can add it here now more things that you can able to do with this workspace is if you click on this you can see workspace settings if you go to workspace settings the first one is called about about will have the basic information like name the description domain contact list which you have given next it is showing something called workspace one right just to think of a workspace one drive is a future in the microsoft fabric it basically allow you or us to set up the microsoft 365 group where we can able to share our documents uh, and uh, it's kind of a sharepoint document library right so every uh, if you are working you know so sharepoint links basically we will get to go through the project documents and like that so this is workspace one drive where you can able to share the all the documents next if you go to premium as we discussed you can uh, you have to go choose the kind of capacity that is required for your workspace currently we are using the trial workspace next azure connections so azure connections basically you can create a connection to the data lake storage and to enter log analytics the main usage of this particular two connection is to collect the usage and performance logs of this particular workspace how it is used by each user you will, you will come to know system storage basically used for uh, uh, maintaining the data sets reports that you are publishing and uh, if anybody is sharing some data sets with you all those things will be there here so some space will be occupied by those things so remaining space how much is used how much is uh, still available everything you can able to see next git integration you everybody aware so for anything doesn't matter whatever development whatever it is version control is something very important for every application that's why we have adf directly uh, git integration databricks we have a direct git integration like that for microsoft fabric also we have a git integration which is a version control tool next we have uh, other so basically just uh, if you want to remove this particular workspace for some reason you can just click on this it will remove the workspace so some power bi other options if you want to see some data say it's a data engineering if you want to look at spark compute libraries if you want to add some libraries from your local system okay why yml scripts or pyp libraries if you want to export the libraries that you have from here to your local system right so all those things you can able to uh, keep it in the workspace settings now apart from that you can also see the filters right so filters only showing this because we have only these three different types of things but if you have other types of artifacts within this particular workspace all those things it will show next you can see here it is a list view okay by default uh, that is the only list view it will show next if you want to know this lake house we create what what is the dependency of these three items you just click on the lineage view it will tell you what is the dependency first you have a lake house for the lake house there is a sql endpoint for querying the data that we have so using this this particular sql endpoint they are creating the data set by default this you can able to use in your adf pipelines or power bi for using this data and creating the reports like that you can able to use the lineage so for example here it is showing only few filters right why it is showing only few filters because only these three are there let's say i'll switch uh, to the some other workspace how to switch to the some other workspace go to workspaces you can search for some workspace if you are not able to see your workspace okay so let's say i'll be switching for some other workspace this is my workspace right so first important thing that i'm going to do is i'll pin my workspace just pin it so that see pinned workspaces will be always show at the top now you can just click on the workspace that you want to go let's say i want to switch to the some other 
uh, where I can go is I'll go for the my test workspace. Okay, I just clicked on the new workspace. It will move. Now it is showing in the lineage, right? What is the dependence between all these things? But if you click on the list view, it will show you all these things here. When you click, not only the data sets, SQL endpoint and lake house, it is showing warehouse and data flow gen two because we have the data flow gen two warehouse also I created and the schedule the data refreshes using the data flow gen two. This is how you can able to. So first thing is we learned how to create the workspace. Then I have shown you how to pin it. If you want to unpin it again, you can just select it. It will go as a unpin again. Okay, you can pin it once again. Next thing we just discussed uh, like workspace settings where we will be discussing about a lot of things we discussed, right? Contact list, which is very important uh, here and Git integration, system storage, Azure connection, premium uh, uh, capacity. We discussed all those things and how you can able to filter these items how you can able to see the dependency between these items through the lineage. Okay, I hope everything I have covered for uh, this particular lab. So let's quickly go through some of the other things that I have in this particular PPT. So workspace settings, as you know, so workspace admins can able to control this workspace settings. Contact list for notifying to the users, whoever is there in the contact list based on the changes that are happening in the workspace. OneDrive for sharing all your documents. License mode is capacity that you are choosing. Azure connection for uh, collecting the usage and performance logs of your workspace. System storage for uh, keeping your published reports, data sets. If somebody else has shared data sets, all those things you can able to keep here. So you can able to integrate the workspace with the Git, which is a version control tool. Okay. So uh, finally, very important thing is workspace limitations. As you know, Workspace can contains only a maximum of thousand data sets. You cannot have more than thousand data sets and a thousand reports per the per data set. You cannot have more than thousand reports per data sets and the workspace name should not have the special characters. As I mentioned, it is allowing for now, but going forward, it will not allow a user or service principal can be a member of up to thousand workspaces. For example, I am the user. I cannot be more than thousand workspaces i my id should not be added into the more than thousand workspaces similarly you have created a app registration which is a, a user a connection you can say app registration is a connection which will be using between any a, two edge services so same service principle also should not be a part of the more than thousand workspaces okay these are the limitations of the workspace so that's all for today team thanks for watching this particular video i hope everybody like this if you like this Please uh, uh, like it and uh, subscribe my YouTube channel to get more content on the Microsoft Fabric and other stuff. Thank you.